And here we go. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Guys, thank you very much for tuning into the stream. And uh, whether it's through Twitch or through YouTube. Um, yesterday, I... Uh, well, how can we say I uh, I died? I died just as the stream was ending. I should have eggs. I should have quit <laughs> right away. I saw this soldier coming towards me, and I, I don't know. I thought for some reason he was um, from my kingdom, like not the invading force that uh, just attacked. And I saw my mom and my dad get killed right before me. I'm like, and then they said, guy, they said, dude, dude, run, run. And I ran, I ran, but then I stopped because I was going to stop streaming and start over today. And you know what happened? I died. I died. Oh, it was sad. But thankfully for schnapps, lovely schnapps, I was reincarnated. I'm guessing uh, you gotta have snaps in order to save or to reload your previous game. I don't know. But anyway, that's what happened and we're about to start. So let me just uh, get things fixed up here to make sure that everything is going the way it's supposed to. Yeah, I can see everything, so that's fantastic. Okay, now let's load game. Um, so I'm going to, which one should I load? 1704? Yeah, let's do that one. Why not? And we're going to just take off running as fast as our little legs can go, because apparently that's what we need to do. Anyone behind me? Nope. I can't hear nothing. There we go. Behind me? Nope. Oh, you can hear the war, hey? Now, where am I supposed to go? Oh, this way. Yep. Can I pick any of these? Hey, no one behind me. Hey, I'm going towards A. I'm assuming that's the correct way. Oh, fly. Copy. A E? Did I get it? Whoa. Oh, there's a dude right there. That dude will kill me. Run. Don't stop. Don't touch me or I'll kill you. I don't know who's saying that. Uh, horse riding. You can call your horse anytime by whistling. I don't have a horse, dude. Uh, trot is the horse's bit. <laughs> dude, I, I'm just saying I may die. Okay. Uh, trot is the horse's. So it's the same. Caps. Whoa, shit. Dude, why? Why am I not running? Run. Oh, dude, that's just so wrong. Oh. Oh, you don't use the mouse to run, just so you know. This is so weird. What a weird experience. Go! I can honestly say I don't like this. Back up. I really hope this is my horse. Aha! Why is it the... Whoa! We got a lot of people chasing us, dude! I don't know, how can they catch up with a horse? Game saved. What happened? Did I make it? Oh, dude, I made it. Yay for me.
I go like a dish. What? Gets to the left along the stream. Go! They'll kill you all. They're, they're gonna kill me, man. If I can't gallop, I'm hooped. Warn the others. They tore its scallops. Flee to Talbot. Let's see. Half is limitless. Go! kill you all! Come on now! Ride! Am I actually going to make it on this goal? I don't think so. Wow, I did it. I can't believe it. I made it. 20 million arrows in me. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. I suck. Oh, that's horrible. Wow. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? Good. I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. Pass a note. There he goes. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? Yeah. 
There you go. As good as new. <laughs> Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Yep. Let's go. Thirty-six minutes to get through ten minutes. Sad. Sir, this is a survivor from. <clears throat> I heard Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the ensigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be <coughs> those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Hmm. Sacking Gutenberg. Must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. <sighs> What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. <coughs> I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. I'm dead or dead. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. <laughs> it's not a, a completely open and free world. There is a script because you have to stick to it. Objective completed. Ride to Talmberg. You discovered Talmberg. Let's get something neat. Mm-hmm. They say there's a mod. With that blacksmith. He sent his apologies, sir. He can't come tomorrow. The soonest he can manage is before noon the day after tomorrow. <sighs> well, I suppose Must. we can wait another day. Tell him to come in. I will, sir. Thank you. Let's see. I'm looking for food. Where do I eat? Too? Oh wait no, I have food. I got a, qu I have a poor quality arrow. Let us um, how do I do this? Uh, e. Yeah, that's how I do it. My nourishment is getting better. Let us. Okay, that's done. Still need some more food. I cannot eat. Looks like I need to sleep too. So let's go down here. Sir Robert. Down there. Hmm. I came from Scalitz today. It must have been terrible there. How did it happen? It was awful. The church robbed not underway. It seemed like any other day. 
and then I saw thick smoke rising above the hamlet of Rovna. Soon Sigismund's <coughs> army were finished there and came for us. The order to attack must have come even before the alarm bell rang. God preserve us. I ran to the castle for shelter with the others. Behind me I could hear the shouts of the attackers and the screams of the wounded. <clears throat> then I turned and saw a father trying to save mother. They... they were both killed. The gate was closed by then. The men on the battlements were calling to me to run and warn you here. And with God's help I made it. My God, that's horrible. You were lucky to survive. And our thanks for warning us. I'll pray that you see better times. What, what the hell are you doing? I think that I, am I able? Speech, why is my speech like this? A speech gives you, can get buff, minus one level. Hmm. Didn't mean to do that, my bad. Hmm. Turn. Almost. You will last 30% longer with food. Enable you. You'll have 50% more time. However, people will you a mile off reduce. <laughs> Generate 20% scout. We need to find some food. We'll talk to this guy. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Okay. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who went to the countryside to make orchards. I can't understand. What the hell? Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Mm -hmm. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. <laughs> and don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Okie doke. Well, that was horrible. Horrible beginning. 
Nothing like getting into the thick of it. Okay, let's eat. You're that lad from Scullets. What in heaven's name happened there? My experience is I'm not good enough for the gent. You can never have enough food. So collect it while you can. And then save it for later. I got a nice sword though. What's my nourishment at? 38. Okay. Let us eat this. Eat. What's my nourishment now? Let's eat. 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 Mm. It is getting better. Look where you're going. Look where I'm going. Let's pick up the wine. Now I'm doing better. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, what do I need to do now? Run. Go to the courtyard lodge and sleep until morning. Okay. It's this way. I go in here. I'm in a private area. I think I get in trouble if I'm in here. Just leave. Villager. God. Stable master. What yard? Nice. Nice view. It is a very nice view. I wish I could see it a little bit better. Look at that beautiful village down there. Gorgeous, actually. Oh, look, guitar. The music. I'm in a private area again. Go in more private areas. Oh, what happens if I steal it? Okay, do, does it show up as stolen? Oh, it does too. Uh, that's not. Let, let's not. Uh, let me drop that. As much as I would love to have it. Come here. Cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. I don't want to be known as a thief. Aha, I want to go down this way. That's the gate. I want to go over here. It must be in here I want to go. I'm in a private area again. You're that lad from Skellies. What in heaven's name happened there? Hmm. I can tell you what happened, but I don't understand why. We were just going about our usual business when the soldiers came and began their slaughter. Anyone who couldn't flee to the castle was cut down. They destroyed everything. It's a miracle I escaped with my life. Let's go to sleep. Let's sleep for... I don't know what just happened. immediately understood yes sir he didn't take off his shoes yes it is i henry forgive the intrusion i didn't wake you boy did i my lady uh, um this is weird no no not at all but what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Mm. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. Yeah, why didn't you? I was you? going to. <clears throat> but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. I think she's making the moves on him. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. Mm -hmm. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. <clears throat> the day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzi. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzi himself came to have a look at it. 
praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Good. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. How did they know it was Sigismund? And death descended on Skalitz. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. He was then pretty the amazing. The leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. Cut mm. down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmbo and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. <laughs> I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of human savages who planned to violate her. What's he gonna say? Yeah, I don't know if I should do that. Let's see what happens. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them, and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd help, and I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Really? I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. That good. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. Not good. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a <coughs> ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, 
Did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more? Seven years. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, yeah. we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Hmm. Very odd. What's going to happen now? Uh-oh. He's dreaming? Yeah. I won't be dead. I won't be. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is there? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skellis. Ooh. Go to the battlement via. Okay, so am I my speech still bad? Nope. So it looks like I've got myself all back. It feels like it's raining out there, guys. I don't think I should go out there. You want me to go out in the rain? Who's in here? Oh man, I'm gonna get wet. Which way do I go? Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. The gateway stairs. Haha. -ha. Good health to you. Do you know what's happening? No. What about you? Me? How could I? I saw you with Sir Robot. Didn't he tell you anything? No, nothing. Hmm. That was kind of uh useless. The storm is a sign from God. You should have fled to the woods. Keep your old wives' tales to yourself. Anyway. You think Sigismund wouldn't catch up with us in the forest? Here, at least we have a chance to defend ourselves. Well, no fool. A backstabbing swine, maybe. But no fool. You're right there. All within well. Hey, you men down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? 
What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. <coughs> Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalps. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give his sense to Scarlet, to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies say? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Yes, we will. Here they come. Oh! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Ansig! What a relief! Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. Yes. I say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave Time young man. six. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Hovel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Mm -hmm. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Farewell. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. It's a dark times. Go to the battlements and talk. Complete. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. Not I good. want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalas people now he knows they've fled. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? Yes. 
Well, that's for my horse, that there. And let's talk to this guy. Can I help? Oops. What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Absolutely. I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done to me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Hey. Keep watch on the battlements. Where this must be the battlements. Up there? No, it must be here. Here? Yeah. Why can't I see anything? God be with you. What do you think about the Scarlet's folk? It's a hell of a thing. First, everyone is shitting them. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Watch it. Hey, watch it. Good day to you. Good day to you. What do you think about how the Scalitz boat managed to flee the siege? Thank the Lord. I thought it was Sigismund descending on us. Seems everyone thought that. <laughs> well, we were all expecting the worst. And the truth is, I'm still worried what will happen when Sigismund comes here. And come he will, of that I'm sure. Of that I'm sure I too! Hope we'll be as fortunate when we're face to face with that fucker. By I'm the way, like Henry, my condolences. Thank you. Thank you. So this is definitely the battlement. That's my bed back there. I thought it might have been up there, but... Now how do I... Uh, uh, settings. Controls. Movement. Oh, that was a horrible experience. Man. Skip time is T. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. T... Let us start. I guess they are going to war. Someone is coming. Holy smokes. Oh, oh. Look at that. See how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Shit. That's the bastard who let the attack of Scalice and kill my parents. Don't be 
an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia. It was Sigismund. I resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Wow. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty <coughs> took action <coughs> against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Me too. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not a Talmur. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Mm-hmm. Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tamburg and that he has your loyalty? Yes. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, mm -hmm. sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed Not good. as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now that's an army. So I'm guessing that... They're leaving. Crazy. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Mm-hmm. That was some crazy stuff there, guys. That's right. Look at that guy. Go to the battlements. It's completed. Jesus, look where you're going. Bury your loved ones in scallops. Talk to Sir Robert. Get a horse. Okay. I can do all of those things. Woohoo, baby! Where's scallops? There he is. Watch where you're going. Punk. Oh, punk, you see that guy? I'm bad arena. Yeah. That's where I need to spend a lot of time because I'm going to tell you something, man. I'm not. Uh... How do I get over? Hmm. Can I talk to him from here? Nope. Oh my goodness. Very irritating. 
I'll be with you. I have to go to Scalas. Why did Sigismund raid Scalas? What is Sigismund after? What do you know about the Cumans? Where did these Cumans come from, anyway? Let's see. I don't know much about them. Only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. They are. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. They do. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good Lord gave me ears. And I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's village. Were there hmm. any? Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. Interesting. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobs. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Yeah, why? It was a strategic position? No. Uh, he was afraid of the Kut No. To feed his troops from the granary? From their granaries? Or the loot? So he could loot it? Correct. King Charles, may God grant him eternal <laughs> glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kuttenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kuttenberg silver is king. Ah. So Kuttenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kuttenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kuttenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies, before they could stand against him, and also gained immense wealth. Hmm. But we know why. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. They killed those people for money. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. I have to bury my parents. Uh, let me up before I lose my temper. Uh, if I, if you were in my shoes, the same. So, Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Hmm. This is not good. Since Sigismund conquered Kuttenberg, you can't even trust common pilgrims anymore. There's that many brigands roaming around. You never know if you'll come home from the fields alive. I hear you, bro. Nothing about it. No, not a thing. Look at this dude, just taking her easy. Yes, yeah, saw everyone taking her easy. Anytime now and slaughter us all. They won't come back. Why would they? We'll stay here overnight to be on the safe side and go back to the fields tomorrow. By tomorrow morning, all our heads will be on spikes. Ah. Mm hmm, this is going to be very interesting. 
Indeed. Mountain steel? Mm. This is a cool looking horse. But I can't steal the horse. If I steal the horse, they're gonna hate me. Stealing the horse is no. Oh, let's wash. Very important to wash. Ah, yes. I feel so much better. You know? Is this a private area? Oh, stable master is cleaning the poop. In here? Ish. Oh, it's just a candle. Fun. Sleep and save. Oh. Dude, it looks like someone was protected, or I don't know what happened to them in there. Here we go. This is my bed. Okay, I'm going to sleep for a bit. I'm going to sleep for one hour. Yes, yes. Uh, but, and I'm going to stop there, guys. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, it's kind of crappy, uh, all those deaths at the beginning. Uh, I'm far from uh, one of the best players. I can guarantee you that. Uh, but... Uh, like always, subbing to the YouTube channel would be fantastic, guys, if you could do that. Uh, and following me on Twitch would be awesome. Thank you guys very much, and I will see you next time around.